What is going on, lunatics? It's time to talk about what is happening in this Luna Classic community. Now, look, if you missed me yesterday, I had a power issue. Lightning hit a, a, a power line outside of my house, charred the entire area. Oh, it was a crazy moment. So uh, it, I had to take the day off, and I'm back today. So let's talk about what's going on. We got an update here. I, I don't know if I brought it to you. I don't think I brought it to you, but it was Terra uh, underscore money from X brought out a little bit of new information, which could lead to a real surge in interest on Luna Classic going forward. Well, let's not waste any time. Let's kick this off right now. If you like this type of content, make sure that you hit that like button on the way in. That helps me out. And more people who look at this become more people who potentially become investors in Luna Classic. And that's what you want ultimately is price go up, right? So hit that like button. Let's do it. All right, guys, the new shuttle bridge interface to redeem wrapped assets is now open. Reopening the bridge allows users to send Lunk and US bridge to Ethereum mainnet BNB and Harmony network back to Terra Classic. If you remember, there's a lot of people asked me about this. How do I get mine back from the portal. And if you remember, there was the wormhole that had been created a while. Uh, that's the shuttle bridge. Now this allows you, if you have your lunk on BNB, which I did originally, and I bridged it over a long time ago, um, th the opportunity to do it right now exists. Now, not only does it exist, but uh, if you look over here, you can access the shuttle bridge at classic-bridge.terra.money, uh, which means that you're, and you're going to have about 30 days for October 30 of 2024. Um, uh, the effective date on it is going to be September 30. So, I'm sorry, it'll be um, open until October 30. Sorry about that. Um, so, it looks like to me that we'll have a, a little window here, short little window, to make these transfers. Now, in the event that this happens, then this is opening up something. And, by the way, if we can get the, the code for this when this gets shut down, there is a possibility that somebody in the uh, Lunk ecosystem create this or recreate this and we would have our own shuttle bridge now no guarantees but at some point this is going to end when this ends that's it so if you have luna classic wrapped with ethereum or bnb and you're in that wormhole um then you're gonna have to transfer it to i want to say crypto.com or, or somebody who supports luna classic otherwise uh, it is basically stranded so um, there will be ways to, to, to get it and to unwrap it. That's the centralized exchanges will have a, a little mechanism by which you could do that. Of course, moving it to Binance would fix whatever uh, the problem, because I think it's a, generally a USDT uh, pairing. So you know, I think you would end up being fine uh, in that context. But that's, this is important because it's an opportunity for you to get your stuff over here. Now, here's the other part. Uh, when, we, uh, when this opened up, right here, uh, Wrapped Luna is up 28%. Now, Wrapped Luna was, was fading way behind, and uh, the volume of trading is up 238% already. So there is a potential here that we could start to see some kind of price surge because interest in uh, Luna Classic, of course, should pick up if that's the case. Now, that would mean that the Wrap Luna price is now back to matching uh, the, the Luna Classic price. Again, a surge of interest probably means something beneficial. Now, um, there's the October 30th date. Um, all of this stuff breaking down. Um, th this will create, uh, in my opinion anyway, this is going to create some interest in Luna Classic and potentially lead to a price surge. Now, for that to happen, we're going to have to get something going on. Now, uh, as far as this goes, there's uh, nothing's really changed. Everything was uh, there, there's a proposal to improve the governance module mechanism by BLV Lab. So uh, this is BLV Labs putting this out here. Not a proposal, not a governance, or, or let me phrase that, not a governance anyway. Uh, right now, it's just a proposal for uh, some of this stuff. And then, of course, there's the the proposal that we talked about the other day. That's probably dead in the water of increasing the number of validators. Again, I told you that all nodes they're they're. <laughs> They're already making, this is a cottage industry for them, so they're already uh, flush with cash, getting money from everybody. So I don't, I don't think they're incentivized to, to, to increase it because they like having control, in my opinion. And there we are. So, uh, but let's close that out. Let's look at the price action. Then we're going to flip around. We're going to start bouncing back and forth here a little bit. Uh, price action. 
So the market is starting to, to really sizzle and recover some of the damage that's been done in the last couple of days. We had a, a pretty big dump. Now Lunk is trading at 4.0380. 390. Uh, what I tell you, I told you that most likely uh, we're going to start bouncing and have a nice little corrective move. And with this move right here, I'm thinking that we're going to come up here to about three zeros, 1100. And it makes sense to me that this 200 MA, which is coming across here right now, becomes the, the beacon, the hot spot, the, the point that we probably are going to test to show positivity. You can see here when we're bullish and when we're, we're, we're moving up, that becomes a spot right there of resistance. And it tested once, it tested twice twice, three times, four times before eventually rejecting. Broader market rejected at the same time, by the way. This was not um, this was, this was not um, a, a, an outlier thing. And by the way, bullish reversal, if we close above, you notice here, remember I told you this the, a couple of days ago? Uh, let me zoom in just so you can see this. Uh, we never closed above it. So uh, as you can see, we got a candle above nine. We got a candle wicking through nine. Uh, we got the doji. Then we got another one, um, a little not exactly, but close enough uh, we, with a lot of trading going back and forth, but never closed above nine. And then the next day we had that $100 billion sell off in the in the the broader crypto market uh which led to a continued move downside as it continued to walk away and now we're getting that reversal right so um the reversal seems to be wicking over here off of this yellow one which is uh da, 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 10 uh, the S the 10 sma so uh, we're testing the 10 right now bouncing off of i think this is the 20 right here and then here's the 50 uh and then here's the the 200 i think i got that right uh, I'm sorry, the 10, the 50, the 100, and the 200. So the 10 right here, the 50 is the support. Uh, the 10 right here has been the resistance. Then we're moving up to the 100. We should bounce up here and above that and clear that hurdle, uh, pushing this up into this range. And then that's where the big move comes up to uh, four zeros 11 or three zeros 11. Sorry about that. Uh, but that's really what the market is telling us right now is about to happen. Uh, again, this is because we didn't get the close that we were looking for and uh, we got the MA uh, providing that support. So uh, I think that we're still going to have a, a nice big run. Uh, US market's gonna be on the clock very soon. At the time of recording this, it's 822 Central Standard Time. So, um, you know, US market kind of a, a taker, if you will. Um, and, you know, we're gonna get some information out about the US market today. GDP revision, I think is coming out in about eight minutes. And then we'll know a little bit more about what the market may or may not do. Hopefully the revision to the GDP will clear the way for a rate cut coming up in about three weeks. Rate cut, uh, long-term bullish, short-term pump and dump, okay? Uh, I do think that we're gonna build up to that rate cut uh, because uh, people are gonna be excited about it. And then immediately, I think as we get to that rate cut, we're gonna be dumping on the market because it's buy the rumor, sell the news until otherwise noted. So bear that in mind. I know I just said a lot here with, I said a little, uh, but I used a lot of words for it. So sorry about that. Uh, as far as the rest of the market goes over here on coin hall, you can see here, um, Lunk uh, doing whatever it do. Uh, food, boys, Juris Protocol, uh, Garuda, uh, Lunk Pepe. There's a lot of different stuff out here. Boys up 25% today. Remember, uh, this is kind of a handoff. Remember Juris was one of the, the, the big meme coins in this space, but Juris is going to become Juris Protocol, meaning that the Juris Protocol would, um, th that's going to be your lender, your, your new lender. So uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Boy's going to kind of hand off the baton as the new meme coin or the preferred meme coin. I don't know if it will be or not, but right now it'll be the preferred meme coin. And uh, if that's the case, then you know we might be witnessing uh, a nice little breakout. We might see a, a, a nice big move here, something like that coming from it. Pizza Boy is also out here uh, having 37% rip on the day. But look, if you wanna be, if you wanna make money, be involved. Be, be involved in these meme coins. I told you guys at one point, meme coins will explode. Guess what's happening? The people who do the meme coins, the people who do the meme coins, they're on BNB, they're on Ethereum. And what are they doing now? They're bridging back over here to Luna Classic. They're gonna find these meme coins. And when they find these, these meme coins, what do you think is gonna happen? If you look at the boys, uh, and I'm not here to tell you about the the, the, the boys meme token, right? But it's got 11.3K in liquidity, uh, fair dollar value of 47.9. Uh, this could, in fact, just absolutely explode. And, you know, imagine this thing has like a million dollars in liquidity. 
Just imagine what happens when we get that kind of uh, when we get that kind of movement out of this. You know, uh, it would be 100x from where we are right now uh, just to have uh, that much liquidity. So, you know, there is a big, big opportunity here. I think, in my opinion, for you guys, if you are so inclined and thus interested. So, let me know what you think. By the way, in the comments down below. But um, you know. Make sure you buy some some of these tokens. Now, as far as Juris Protocol rebrand, that Juris Protocol rebrand right here uh, from Rakoff token to Juris Protocol is done right here. It reached the pass threshold. Uh, the only people who said no, uh, I, I think we, we had no with Vito. Yeah, Jesus is Lord. Don't know what that's about, but you know, here we are. Uh, guys, I told you, I, I, look, you know what I think. You know what I think. Uh, let's talk about volume real quick. Uh, 17 million in trading volume on Lunk. Could this go up because the wrap Lunk is starting to bubble under the surface? I don't know for sure or not. We'll see whether or not it does, but down 25% on the day. I think over the next few hours, we might start to find something. And again, I think this might be the Asian market that would really kind of predicate whether that happens because the one thing to remember, Luna Classic was a big thing in the Asian community. So when we get to tonight, we might see a nice little spike coming for Luna Classic. Don't know for sure, but we'll see. Uh, uh, and uh, USTC down uh, a little bit, and both of them, by the way, down overall market cap on the day, but uh, there was a dip. Now, maybe we're going to see some kind of movement. Uh, again, I think there could be some movement happening, so um, we'll see. Moving on to the long burn tracker, 1.3 billion. Guess what? We're now two days away, three days away from the next Binance burn. We could see a significant amount of burn, so there is a, a real opportunity here for uh, some continued positivity in this market. And by the way, when we, uh, we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna talk on Lunk, we're gonna come to Lunk Dash over here and we're gonna talk top holders. Because if you look at the, the top holders over here that are holding Luna Classic, then guess what? There are some of these wallets over here that are uh, Terra, Dot money, the Terraform Labs, or the Luna Foundation Guard, and those are going to be burn wallets. Uh, they're they're going to be required to be burned. All right, so you can see some of these, uh, and we don't know who some of these wallets are. You see here, there's no labels on them, so there's a possibility, a distinct possibility. If you, if you guys remember here, that number three wallet, I told you guys a long time ago, it is, I think that was either an LFG wallet or uh, one of the Terraform Labs wallet. I'm not sure at all whether it is or not, but we know Binance Hot Wallet, we know the stake pool coins, we know KuCoin, we know Crypto.com, we know OKX, we know the Oracle Rewards, we know Kraken. You know, we know a lot of these but there are some that we just don't know. Also, Wormhole Token Bridge. If the Wormhole Token Bridge is right here, 86 billion tokens, that's going to have to be burned, which means are those going to be burned along with it and how will that affect? So uh, we know this one, by the way, is a whale who's holding 103 billion. So, you know, there's a lot of names out here uh, of, of people and we understand who these are. So the ones that we don't understand, what happens if a few of these get burned? Then we're talking about a massive supply. Okay, so um, this is USTC, and this is where it gets really serious. Like, there are a few that we have over here. We don't know whose wallets those are, but where we do know the wallet is, LFG, that's the Luna Foundation Guard. They're part of this Terra, uh, the, the Terraform Labs. They're included in this lawsuit. So when you look at this, that $1.8 billion is most probably going to be burned on, on USTC. Now, can I say that for sure? Will they, try, will, they, will they honor this, or will they try to find a way to... To skis out of it, like I don't know what I don't I don't know what the situation was. The LFG's only job was to protect the peg, and they failed dramatically at that. So, uh, as you go down here, in fact, you'll you'll see there's more guys. We're in accumulation phase, and Cryptonomy.finance is the place for you to go in order to stake. You guys have seen what I've staked so far. So what I'm gonna do is I have 10,000 XRP, six months. Again, wondering what the bull phrase is gonna look like. 32% yield off of that. So off of 10,000 XRP, I should have 13,246 XRP when I'm done, minus fees. Boom, we're ready for the bull run. We're going 20,000 into the bronze level. All right, we got $20,000 into this pool. We're in the bronze pool right now. You can see the details of what I've done so far, uh, how much I've earned off of it. Uh, my earnings have been just exponential. Why have they been exponential, you might ask yourself? Well, these guys are investing into each one of these launches, and look at some of the results that they're getting. They're ch they're picking and choosing the best launches. ZK Sync, 4.5x, uh, Ethora 5 three and a half X sharp Psy 3.5 X coin pays 4.7 X. The, they're looking for real solid projects to invest in. And then they're getting this big yield out of it. So if you want to sign up at cryptonomy.finance today, and remember this bull run is coming. 
don't miss out. We'll talk to you again very soon. Um, there, there are a few things here that you can think of, like maybe these are going to end up being burned. So we shall see what happens there. But again, unnamed wallets over here that hold millions upon millions of USTC. So we could be looking at a massive, massive move. Now, before we get a massive, massive move, make sure you go check out Terra Casino. Uh, because this is the place right now. And you can see they, they just did a little uh, quick redesign. Um, Luna Classic, Luna, uh, B, Bit, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygon Matic, USDC, USTC, uh, USDT, sorry, um, Doge. There's a whole bunch of different things for you, for your risk-based gaming. And uh, there is also uh, sports wagering, PVP poker, the whole, the lot. Exactly what you want to do. And look, that helps because this is one of the biggest burn protocols in all of Luna Classic. If we go to the top burners and we look at the top 100, by the way, just a random billion got burned the other day, but Terra Casino right here, they burn more than all notes. Remember, who cares about this ecosystem? I tell you that all notes doesn't care. They're just a cash grab for all of these other companies, in my opinion. But Terra Casino, uh, a smaller, much smaller protocol has already burned far more than all nodes. Cremation Coin has burned far more than all nodes. Everybody is burning far more than all nodes. So do they care? I don't think so. But, you know, that's your opinion. You decide for yourself whether or not that is the case or not. But uh, go check it out. And Terra Casino, uh, or uh, Terraport.finance, come check this out if you want to do some meme coin trading. Remember I just told you about the boys? Uh, it, well, you can come over here and you can start trading and, you know, go down this protocol, find the boys, get yourself a bag of the boys coin. Uh, by the way, inspired by you know what show. So um, here's the uh, staking. Remember, four of these, four of the six are already sold out in full. So uh, I'm in the uh, second to last one, the 90 day protocol here. Uh, I got two months left on it. I've, I've earned 71.64 so far. Remember, I only had like 4,900 when I started. Now we're up almost over 5,100 total by the time that it's done. Uh, just gonna continue to acc accumulate more Terra uh, for that reason. If you wanna do some yield farming, then come over here and stake so that people can earn over here and when they do off of the trade and you look at lunk usdt uh lunk us you um, lunk usdc or usdc something like that you know go find one of these protocols where there's a good amount of trade volume and go ahead and and um, uh, and yield farm off of that and you might be making yourself a little bit more of a bag also still waiting for rocket to do that launch we should get that at some point very very soon we're going to make an announcement and then we'll have uh the rocket token and we'll have that game hopefully told you before i'm a big tower defense fan so let me know what you think in the comments down below guys i think we're getting closer to the moment where we're going to see just a gigantic amount of burn we see a, a gigantic amount of burn then you know i want to say that we're going to be looking at somewhere near some uh, local, local all-time highs on Terra Luna Classic. That local all-time high is three zeros, uh, 59,250. So if you just consider where we are right now, then, uh, you know, we're talking about a 7X from where we are. And that'd be a pretty big move. That would be a pretty big deal overall in this ecosystem. So uh, I, I do think that we're getting to that point where, you know, there's going to be a significant blow up and the market is going to bear that type of significant blow up. It is my opinion. Look, I don't know. No, nobody, who knows, right? Uh, but USTC with a gigantic burn getting ready to come up from LFG, it is my opinion. Uh, and then the, the burns from the Terraform Labs wallets, when all of those things start to burn and we start to see this real reduction in supply overall. And then remember, there's a a bounty out five million for a repeg um so you know what do you got to lose check out luna classic today remember none of this is financial advice but i'm also always right have a good day and we'll talk to you again soon